Hey guys, it's Dylan from Mining with Minions here. I'm here with Stella at the Hope Bar and we're hoping that we're gonna be able to find us some jade today, guys. So, let's get it. So one of the reasons guys that I'm always coming down to the Fraser River to rock hunt and look for jade is the Fraser River is actually one of our longest rivers in BC. Actually, it is our longest river here in BC. So basically that's meaning it has more tributaries than any other creek or any other river in BC. So there's so much different material being deposited from basically here all the way to the northern tip of British Columbia. So that's one of the main reasons that I hunt the Fraser River. Okay, so I just found this piece here. It doesn't really look like jade. Sounds really metallic, so break it open, see what's inside. Whoa. Oh, cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is some pyrite banding in there. There's a whole seam of pyrite. That is super neat. Cool, but not jade. Well guys, we think I found our first piece. Look at the beautiful color in that. I mean, again, I got to do an SG test on it at home, but that does look like some beautiful jade to me, guys. Sweet. So we've been here about 15, 20 minutes. We found one piece of jade so far, obviously tons of serpentine because the Fraser River is just loaded with it. But that one piece of serpentine with the cool little shiny spot that I showed you guys, is doing something really weird when you tap it with the flash later with another rock the whole rock vibrates like i don't even know how to explain it it's not just like the contact vibration like the rock itself vibrates it's super super cool guys but it's an absolutely beautiful day here the snow's starting to melt off the mountains which means this river is going to be getting high probably within the next month or so so I'm trying to gather everything i can before we get flooded out guys, hey guys so we're only going to stay here for about 20 more minutes because the video that you guys seen in my previous couple of videos we're actually on our way to teach about 35 people how to gold pan up at emery bar so we showed up a little early just to do a little jade hunt because you know why not right boop mm -hmm. and i'm absolutely amazed too that i haven't found an agate like this gravel bar looks like there would be lots of agates but for some reason i am not finding any so hopefully we can find one for this video I think we found a nice one, guys. Oh, yeah. Hear that ting, ting, ting? Oh, beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see those fracture lines in there, but it is glowing. Now that is a beautiful piece. That is black nephrite jade, by the way, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, well we gotta get headed back to the car because we gotta go meet up with the Hastings Rockhounds to go teach them how to gold pan. But we got a bunch of possible jades in the bag here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head home guys and I'm gonna teach you how to do a specific gravity test to figure out if your serpentine is serpentine or if it's jade. So let's head home. Okay guys, so we're home now. What we're going to do is we are going to take our maybe jades and we are going to put them on the tile saw get a nice little piece cut off so that we can do our specific gravity test and let's see which one of these pieces are gold, guys. Alright guys, so we have all of our maybe jades off of the saw other than our little river worn pebble because it's just the perfect size for this test. The materials you guys are going to need to do a specific gravity test is you're going to need some string of some sort, a digital scale, and a plastic container that you can fill three quarters of the way without maxing out your scale because that's going to be part of the test. Um, the first step you're going to want to do is with your string 
tie up your slabs like this because that's going to help you suspend it in the water, which you're going to see in a couple minutes here. So let's get those tied up. Now that you have all of your pieces with a piece of string around them, I want you guys to turn on your scale, let it tear out. And then what I want you to do is get the weight of each one of your pieces. Nineteen point six nine, thirty three point ten, and then this one, just so you guys can actually see, eighteen point two three. Let's see, E. 18.23. Horrible rating right there. Okay, guys. And the next step is you're going to want to fill your container up about three quarters full with water. So let's do that. Okay, so we got our water now. Now turn your scale on again so that it's teared out. Zero, zero, zero. Now what I want you to do is take your rocks Hold it with the string. I'm kind of going backwards here, but that's okay. And suspend it in the water without touching the sides or the bottom. Hold it as still as you can and figure out what that reading is. Hold on one sec. 12.27. Put that one back there. 12.27. C and back in there seven point zero two seven point zero two B eight point seven Seven, eight point seven, seven, letter A, six point ninety, Oop. six point ninety. And then our piece of jade that we know is jade. Four point three five. Four point three five. Okay guys, so now what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to get your calculator out on your phone or if you have a calculator at your house. Pull out your calculator and here I'm just going to show you guys the actual jade. So what you have to do is you go 18.23 which is the weight of the stone itself divided by 4.35 4.35 and what that will give you is jade is the SG of 3.5 to 3. So anything in that range will be jade 100%. That came out at a 4.1. So that's even denser than what it says, which is absolutely crazy, guys. Well, guys, that's a wrap. I hope you all enjoyed that video on how to do a specific gravity test on your maybe jades and the jades you have laying around home just because it's a 
really good thing to solidify the thought and the knowledge that that piece is jade. If you guys enjoyed that video, please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you'd like to, and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of awesome adventures coming up in the near future. Till the next one.